All right. I'm going to pose a question to you guys. On this video, do me a favor. Please respond to this. If you're on a regular podcast, uh, like I said, hit us up on our email at the two dudes podcast at yahoo.com. But if you're watching on YouTube, you can respond directly. And this topic here is the American dream, all about the American dream. With the things that's going on in the world today, what I want to do, I want to ask you a couple questions. First question, and, and there are four questions here, four questions. First question, what is the American dream to you? What is the American dream to you? Here's my answer. As far as the American dream, I believe that it's the ability for anyone here from any walk of life to make it. And when I say make it, what I mean is to make something out of yourself. It doesn't have to be get filthy rich. It doesn't have to be super famous. But you can make an honest wage. You can have that family you want. You can live in the place that you want. All that's very, very possible. That right there. And some people who are living their private lives in their own world, their own little world, wherever they may be, and they're happy and content with that, well, that's their American dream. So if, if you're living the way you want to live and you're happy with that, then you are living the American dream. Now, tell me if I'm right about that or if you have a different idea of what you may perceive the American dream to be, let me know. Okay, now all that being said about what I consider the American dream or what you consider the American dream to be, do you believe the American dream is dead? So that's question number two. Do you believe the American dream is dead? My answer? is no it is not it, it it you can't say that it is and and i'm i'm pretty sure that 99.9% .9 of you should answer that it's not dead and here's the reason why it's not dead because people are still making it this very day it may not be all of us it may not be very many of us but and, and i understand the rich are getting richer and the poor are getting poorer and there's a huge division in between and it's getting bigger i get that i understand that but if you base it on what i answered in the first question on what the american dream is and is it possible to attain no it's not dead we all have an opportunity to do what we want and as long as we have that opportunity there's no way you could say that it doesn't exist. Now, question number three, because I've already said that it is attainable. I mean, I'm going to ask, and this is a little redundant right here. Is it attainable for everyone? This is where it's going to get tricky and I'm going to get different answers from all of you. But I'm going to say, yes, it is. It is attainable for everybody. Now. There's some people that might screw it up. They may not achieve their dreams. 
and there may be just as many people that do everything that they can. They do everything the right way and still don't achieve their dreams. But that doesn't make it any less attainable. We can't all get to the mountaintop. But that doesn't mean we can't all climb. And that doesn't mean that we can't all get a little bit higher. Let me say that again. We can't all get to the mountaintop. But that doesn't mean that we can't all climb and we can't all get a little bit higher. Please, please, please try and remember that. If you get nothing else out of this, take that with you. If you're listening in the morning, take this with you to your work day and spread it out with everybody else. Give them that phrase if you want. Live that way. If you're getting this at night, sleep on it. Wake up refreshed, energized, and renewed tomorrow. And you go into the day with that phrase. And finally, the uh, last question that uh, I'm going to pose. Who does the American dream favor? And this is when we're going to get into the sexes and we're going to get into races and things like that. And short answer, yeah, you could say everyone. But now you're going to get into varying degrees, and this is where it all ties in. Is it harder for a man of color to achieve the goals that he wants than a Caucasian man? Is it harder? Think about this. Is it harder for a person of Asian descent, Hispanic descent, um, any person that's from another country even that comes to America And you know the way most people nowadays look at people from other countries, especially people from the Middle Eastern areas, because of what's happened since 9-11 and such. People that haven't had anything to do with that, but they're treated a certain way just because of where they come from or where their heritage is. Does that make it harder for them to achieve the American dream? Now, I'm going to say yes, and I'm going to say that different races will have more difficulty than someone who's white but it is for different reasons, but it all stems to the same thing. We are all looked at differently. Fair, unfair, right, wrong, whatever. The bottom line is people in positions of power look at some of it, and I'm not saying everybody, but in general, People in positions of power look at minorities and other races differently because of varying reasons. I mean, there are people that are more qualified for a job than others, but get passed over simply because of the color of their skin, their very name their heritage it happens every day so you can't say that it doesn't happen even if you are one of the people that are purest of heart greatest of intentions hey i love you congratulations i'm proud of you unfortunately there's too many people that don't operate like that we got too many a-holes in the world that 
want it their way. And truth be told, there's enough for everybody to go around when it comes to this apple pie. The problem is we have a lot of greedy people who I don't care if they're born with this prejudice attitude or it developed somewhere along the way. That's another subject for another time. But the bottom line is when it comes to the American dream, it is more difficult for people of color, people from other locations, people with other race or heritage backgrounds than the average white person. Are there discriminations against whites? Yes, there is. You bet. There's discrimination everywhere. And when it comes to racism, it goes both ways. It really does. Till we figure out a way to get that nip, it's always going to be that way. Okay, so I'm going to close it up, but I am going to ask See me a response and let me know all four questions and I'll repeat them again. Um, as far as the American dream is concerned, what, what is the American dream to you? Is it dead? Is it attainable for everyone? And who does it favor? and who does it not favor?